Hello guys, uh, I welcome you all in a Sapiens Education. So for more details, you can visit our website www.sapienseducation.com. So today I am going to discuss about a very unique chapter uh, part of escape velocity or vital velocity of a satellite, time period of satellite and total mechanical energy of satellite. So these are the topics. So I will go step by step. So before that, I want to make you understand that uh, if we, let us suppose you can see here, there is a earth is revolving. Okay. Earth is being revolved around uh, uh, Earth is being revolved, right? Uh, you can see here, Earth is being revolved. Uh, uh, Earth is rotating in its own axis, and we need required we required to uh, launch some of the satellites uh, so that satellite can revolve around the around the Earth, okay? Or some some part some rockets we need to launch launch such that it can go beyond the or orbits or beyond the gravitational field of the earth so for this we have to calculate assume and, uh, and not only assume but we need to calculate that how much speed we require so that it can overcome the gravitational force for example if you throw a ball so ball will go up and suddenly it will fall down so is there any force or is there any velocity it, at which it will overcome the gravitational force and it will go beyond this so definitely it will be there it is possible that's why so many satellites are being launched every day day and day okay so let us see how it is works so we we need to discuss see here how it is being escaped like this switching orbits are being done so details i will discuss more and more okay so let us see now what is escape velocity what is escape velocity let us consider let us consider there is an earth okay there is an earth okay and you have a you need to launch the satellite with the help of rocket so as soon as you will launch so what will happen you need a required velocity okay if you will throw a uh, throw with the 10 meter per second or any else so it don't work we require such a velocity that it can escape and break the boundary break the gravitational field and it can go uh, go out of the orbit or out of the gravitational field, field of the earth so the, the minimum velocity with which the body must be projected up up so as to enable it to just overcome the gravitational pull so that no no pull is being uh, acted acting on this uh, uh, on this uh, object it is known as escape velocity so now there is a uh, there is a task that how you will find escape velocity so it's, let us consider now the work done to displace a body from the surface of the earth having a radius r to infinity is you know that the work done is equal to minus u that is equal to g m small m by r so why i have written please go um, go in the previous video you can understand that how it has come so work done is negative of potential uh, energy okay S just we are uh, see here uh, earth uh, earth is there okay and potential energy is suppose 50 okay we have to we have to make a, make a work done in opposite direction so that it can overcome the gravitational pull that's why we are taking work done is equal to negative and the uh, negative of potential energy this is your potential energy and this is equal to g into capital m into small m by r so this work done is required to project the body so as to escape the gravitational pull and this work would provide equal amount of kinetic energy so as soon as you see you will experience that as soon as you will experience that whenever whenever uh, work will be done so suppose there is a rocket okay a rocket and uh, in the rocket we we uh, fuel up and it will it will uh, release a gas so it means that it is uh, uh, give uh, it is uh, working on this so work is uh, is done by the rocket so when work is being done by the rocket so its work is converted into kinetic energy that's why it is starts moving upward direction so it means that whatever 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 work we are applying so that will be converted into kinetic energy yes or no so definitely yes so this work done is required to project the body so as to escape the gravitational pull and this work provide equal amount of kinetic energy to the body at the surface of the earth okay i hope you have understood now right now 
let us see let us the mass of the satellite be m velocity escape velocity of the satellite is uh, v that is the minimum velocity required to escape the satellite and <coughs> capital m is the mass of the earth and r is the radius of the earth so as we have discussed that work done will be converted into kinetic energy i hope you have understood so whatever work is being done so it will be converted into kinetic energy as much as you will do work on the uh, satellite so it, your work will get converted into kinetic energy because it becomes in a motion so so it means that this work done is equal to kinetic energy so work done is equal to g g m in capital m into small m by r is this is equal to half m v e square where v is your escape velocity escape velocity of the satellite escape velocity of the satellite right so as soon as you will find v so can we write here v so um, m m will cancel out v is equal to 2 g capital g into capital m divided by r so this is the final equation we have got about um, escape velocity so let us um, uh, let us come to more uh, more and more conclusion so that we uh, we got a perfect equation okay so so since g is a small g is acceleration due to gravity as we have uh, already derived in previous part 1 video so that capital uh, small g that is acceleration due to gravity is your gm by r square so can we write here gm is equal to gm uh, sorry g, uh, g gm by r is equal to gr c here by this relation so please equate this so that you will able to get this so as you as soon as soon as you have got gm by r so v uh, we have uh, derived v is as a 2 gm by r so definitely g, uh, divided uh, gm by r is equal to g uh, small g into r so finally we have got an equation that is escape velocity is equal to 2 into small g into r so i hope you have understood now if you put the values if you put the values if you put the values of a small g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square and radius of the earth is equal to 6400 uh, into 10 power cube meter so when you put this so definitely you will get some of the values and that values is 11.2 meter per second so this is the minimum one within one second a rocket or a, anything have to travel at least 11.2 to overcome the earth's gravitational pull so if it will uh, if it will be less than 11.2 meter per second so what will happen it will again fall down so this is what uh, uh, it is all about right now since we uh, we go uh, go to the relation that v is is v uh, that is uh, escape velocity is equal to root under 2 gr so escape velocity does not depend upon the mass of the body see suppose uh, this is your earth and the mass of the um, satellite is your small m so is there any work of the small m no angle and direction of projection nothing else only we have uh, v is called uh, equal to root under 2 gr it means that uh, it only depends upon the uh, acceleration due to gravity and as well as the radius of the earth so it does not depend on the satellite mass satellites the angle of a projection right so i hope you have understood this now now why an atmosphere in the moon is absent so you know that in in moon what happen if there is a moon so there is a no atmosphere why because the velocity of the gas particle so you know that there is a gas particle and it has some velocity so its velocity if any things any mass has a velocity velocity greater than a uh, greater than the escape velocity of the planet so it will go and escape out so there is a need always need to, to escape for example if you have a, your body you, you will have 11.2 km per second and it will going up so definitely it will go beyond the earth and it will uh, escape escape out from the earth's gravitational pull so similarly what happens uh, the uh, energy that is kinetic uh, kinetic energy or velocity of the gas is greater than the escape escape velocity that's that's why uh, there is a absence of the atmosphere i hope you have understood now right now let us uh, talk about the different concerned about different topic that is satellite motion 
satellite motions we should uh, understand and uh, try to understand what is the satellite motion when a mo- satellite is moving around the earth in a orbit so its motion we need to study about its motion what is its velocity what is its acceleration or is it moving with a constant velocity or constant acceleration and what and all so let us uh, let us uh, discuss more about this uh, this things see you have uh, understood this figure so let us try to understand this is your earth okay this is your earth and this is your satellite this is your satellite right and satellite is at the height of h and the orbit 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 radius is r and the r is the capital radius of the earth so can we write here r is equal to capital r plus small r sorry uh, capital r plus small, uh, small h so r is equal to capital r that is radius of the earth plus the h is the height right now a satellite of a mars on a mo- on a moving in an or- orbit of a radius r with the speed v see here it is moving with the velocity v okay and it has a r as a radius orbital radius then the required set- centripetal will be provided by gravitation so you know that any circular motion is there it means that there is a centripetal force uh, centripetal uh, force right so if there is no centripetal force so it won't be able to move in a circular orbit so who is giving that centripetal force so as a conclusion we can say that gravitational pull is giving gravitational pull gravitational force or gravitational force is gi- uh, is given by centripetal force is given by gravitational force only so gravitational force act as a centripetal force and due to which that uh, satellites moves around the moves around the earth okay so i hope you have understood this thing now 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 e- e- as we have uh, understood that uh, ad- as we have understood that your centripetal force and gravitational force both are equal why be equal because actually gravitational force is only acting as a centripetal force okay no external force is acting right suppose there is a, an earth okay and the satellite is moving around the earth so definitely due to the gravitational force only this is moving around the circular motion so centripetal force we know that the if if uh, any mass is moving uh, any mass let us consider m is the mass of satellite mass of satellite satellite right and uh, b is the velocity of satellite velocity of satellite right and r is the radius of orbit radius of orbit radius of orbit so definitely uh, centripetal force is equal to half m v square right now also gravitational force when we talk about gravitational force since since this is your earth earth has a mass m and it has central distance r plus that is your h and this is the um, satellite so total orbital distance is equal to r that is equal to capital r plus h right so when it rotate around this so what type of force is being acted so as per the newton's gravitational law force will be force between two mass can be written as capital g into um, m capital m into small m by r square so this is what i am um, talking about so here capital r we can't write capital r because total distance is your small r only so we have written a small r square now if you cut this m small m small m so you will get v square is equal to capital g m by r okay so as you know that uh, as you know that in a previous uh, previous c, c, c in this slide total r is the orbital r is the total uh, orbital radius so this r is equal to radius of the earth plus the height of the satellite so this small r can be written as r capital r plus small h so if you go uh, if you do this so you will get b is equal to capital g into is um, capital m by r plus h so i hope you have understood this now so this is what known as orbital velocity this is known as orbital velocity okay this is known as orbital velocity <clears throat> now now for a, um, for a satellite let us uh, let us uh, conclude that for a satellite for a satellite which is uh, very close to the earth surface for a satellite which is very close to the earth surface okay so let us consider uh, let us consider see here one situation may arrive may arrive that a satellite is very near 
so this is very near okay so if there is near so can we write here that h is very very um, very uh, very very small h that is height is very very small than r so can we uh, write r is equal to capital r plus h but if it is very small so can we ignore and write a small r is equal to capital r so definitely we can write this i hope you have understood now Now see here. So since we have uh, a parabolic satellite which is very close to the Earth's surface, so h small h is very very smaller than r. So r will be small r will be is equal to capital R. So can we write here that b is equal to g m by r? So now tell me what is the value of g m by r? So as you know that small uh, g is equal to g m by r square. So can we write here g r is equal to g m by r? So just put this value. Put this value, so you will get GR. So G is what? G is your 9.8 meter per second for Earth square, and R is the radius of the Earth. So when you put this value, so you will get the um, orbital velocity of any satellite as 8 kilometer per second. It means that, it means that, it means that any satellite, satellite which is very near, it will take approximately, it will travel 8 kilometer in within one second. as our orbital velocity is approximately 8 km per second now orbital velocity is independent of a mass and a orbiting body see here orbital velocity has two thing g and r so it does not depend upon the weight of the satellite so it depends upon the radi uh, radius of the uh, radius of the orbit mass of the planet and g of the planet as well as density of the planet but it does not depend upon sat satellites uh, satellites mass and all but it depends upon the length of the uh, length of the uh, uh, central distance suppose its length is increasing suppose this is your satellite so its length will be r so if r will increase so what will happen if r will increase then what will happen velocity will decrease so this is what you need to understand okay now as our uh, equation for orbital velocity is b is equal to gm by r so it means that velocity is inversely proportional to r it means that if r increases it means velocity will decrease as soon as your satellite will be more far so it means that velocity will decrease from this equation we can say that so greater is the radius of the orbit less will be the velocity as it is more near to the earth so its speed is more but as as it is very far uh, away from the earth so it means that its velocity will be less so i don't think it there will be a confusion in this right now i am talking about time period of a satellite what uh, what uh, is the time period let us consider this is the earth okay and suppose a satellite a satellite is moving around the earth so the total time taken to complete the motion in a one complete or orbit is known as the time period of the satellite that is time period to complete one oscillation or time period to one complete one path or one circle is known as its time period so now tell me what is the length of this orbit so definitely 2 pi into r or small r we can write here small r r only right we can write small r because we are talking uh, here we can we need to write small r only right okay so this is your 2 pi this is the path length or circumference of the orbit now tell me time so as you know that uh, velocity is equal to distance by time so time is equal to distance by velocity so here distance which type of distance it is covering satellite is cover, uh, covering about circumference of the orbit right now what is the orbital velocity just now we have concluded we have derived what is the orbital velocity that is gm by small r now can we write here the total circumference of the orbit is 2 pi into small r and the velocity of the orbital velocity is your v so just put the values of uh, this so you will get this equation right now we need to understand that uh, we have got time period as this equation so whenever you will uh, solve any problem so you have to write this equation now more details if you want to go here we, as we know that uh, um, small g is equal to capital gm by r square okay 
so it, this case I will use in the next slide so let, let it uh, be here only so let's go for next slide <coughs> now see here for nearby satellite its satellite is very near see here it is more closer to the earth so can we write here if h is very very small then then the r so small r is equal to capital r capital r plus uh, capital r plus uh, h so h is uh, can be considered as zero so in place of a small r we can write r capital r so if you put this so you will get the equation like this earlier it, its equation was 2 pi root under r cube by gm but now as we have considered that satellite is very near near by satellite only then this equation can be done now tell me you know that uh, small g is equal to capital gm by r square so can we can we write here uh, r cube by gm as uh, r square by gm now r square by gm means what 1 by g is equal to r square by gm so can we write this so just put this here so what you will get 2 pi root under r by g now put the values of r as a 6400 kilometer and a small g as a 9.8 km meter per second so finally you will get that the time is equal to 1.5 1.4 hour it means that for nearby satellite it takes a one complete motion or one complete orbit it takes a time it takes is 1.4 hour okay so i hope you have understood now now let us go for next slide now i will talk about total mechanical energy of a satellite now let us see as you know that uh, this is your earth okay and satellite is here so satellite has how many type of motion definitely there is a potential energy as well as kinetic energy so we need to understand that how many how much total energy one satellite has now let us consider potential energy of a satellite is how much it is your minus z m by into m by r just now we have already derived in previous section that what is the potential energy okay since it is your r mass of the satellite is small m now if i will talk about kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to half m v square so here v is the velocity so can i write here half m v square is equal to half m into gm by r why i have written here uh, gm by r because you know that v square is equal to v square is equal to gm by r from here it, it came just go for a orbital velocity so if you talk about orbital go go for a previous section if you go for orbital velocity see here orbital velocity is v square is equal to g m by r is r only r so you use this equation to put here right you go by slide by slide so that you will able to understand i will give you some most of the notes here only so go through the notes so that you will able to understand and revise it quickly so let us see here uh, kinetic energy is uh, see here kinetic energy is equal to half mb square so in place of b square so i have put here gm by r so can you write here kinetic energy as half m half into gm into small m by r now total energy total energy is equal to what potential energy plus kinetic energy so we have got this relation potential energy as minus gm capital m by uh, into small m by r plus uh, half into capital g m by r why because this is the kinetic energy so by adding this you will get total energy as minus half g m m by r square so this is what about uh, total energy so if you want to find any total energy of any satellite so you have to use this formula to get the answer okay so you will get it directly i hope you uh, uh, you will um, get it uh, directly right so i uh, i think um, most of the things which i have discussed is uh, clear now so topic which i have covered escape velocity or battle velocity of satellite time period total mechanical energy of the satellite so you go for one by one i have given i have given the notes pdf notes go to the description section so that you will able to download the notes and try to write it in your own language and try to solve maximum numericals and all I will uh, make a separate video for numerical so that you will able to understand the things clearly. 
so i hope you have understood now so thank you for watching my videos so try to be linked with our channel so that i will give proper many and many more video for class 11 fully complete syllabus i am going to give you right so please be in the our channel thank you for watching my video thank you at all